What's up Muggleborns? Cheesy or Teasy here, your Muggle Professor. Going somewhere? Today I will be teaching you how to pack my duffel bag. Whether you're flying or driving 10 hours to get to your destination, it's always a good thing to pack everything in one bag. I will be using the Osprey Transporter Duffel Bag 65 liter. When you first get the bag, it comes with this little pouch right here. Don't throw this away because this comes handy when you pack your stuff. Before you pack anything else, I want you to ask these three questions. How long is the trip what activities are you gonna be doing and what is the weather like because those three things will affect on how you pack the colder it is more jackets more thermals more socks the hotter less clothing now in the wizarding world this trunk right here all I gotta do is wave my wand put my stuff in there and I got my trunk ready to go but no we're muggles so we gotta do it the hard way but we can also do it the smarter way so come on let's go I'm gonna show you how to pack Remember when I told you that you can keep this? It's because another way to make packing easier is to have packing cubes or some kind of bag to separate your clothes. I don't have packing cubes, but I do have a lot of bags for my traveling and it comes very useful. Since this is a cube, this is the best way to pack all your clothes that are not cotton. What I mean is if you have jersey and some blouse that are hard to fold and you can't keep them together, this cube right here will. So packing in this cube, you gotta make sure that it's full because if not, the clothes that you pack in there will move and you don't want that. So if you have more space, just tuck it in. You can put some shorts or socks or jeans or whatever it is just to keep it tight and full. And there you have it. Okay, muggle friends, these seems a lot. I have eight t-shirts and six shorts one pair of jeans and bathing suits. Now, even though I know that I can fit all of them in a bag, I like to use this called vacuum bag. If you heard of them, great, you're on the right track. But basically, a vacuum bag lets you pack more stuff and then suck up the air and turn it into thin package. I normally use the nomadic vacuum bag. When you open it, it's like this. So pack in a vacuum bag. Basically, you put all the clothes in there. Nice and tucked in. Put all the clothes. And before you fold the top rim, make sure that you're actually letting the air out. You have to hug it like it's the most precious thing in your life just to release the air. There, you got your vacuum bag without using a vacuum. That's why I love this vacuum bag. It's because you don't need a vacuum to use it. All you gotta do is make sure you open this knob right here and close it. So for your underwear, I'd like to use the Apera sanitized bag. Basically, you put your stinky clothes in there and it doesn't smell. You can use it as a laundry bag as well if you're traveling. Now for shoes, I know some of you ladies like to bring your whole wardrobe like my mom. So make sure that you know what you're gonna be wearing. If you're doing a lot of activities outside, like an outdoor activities, you know that you're gonna be wearing some tennis shoes. So now if you're gonna do a lot of water activities, that make sure you have your other shoes, non-slip shoes, flip-flops, or whatever it is that you may be using. I got this bag from 100 yen store in Japan. Really, really handy when it comes to shoes. I don't like putting my shoes along with my other clothes. I don't care if it's the top of the shoes, my shoes will never touch my clothes. It's just shoes and backpacks are very dirty. They're always goes on the floor. So you don't wanna put that next to your clothes, especially underwear. I've seen some people putting their shoes on the table. Big no, no, mm -mm. we can't be friends, sorry. Last but not the least, your handy dandy toiletries. Toiletries comes in different bags. Some of you guys don't even need a big one. But in my case, I like to use my own stuff and I don't wanna buy more stuff when I get there. I can just easily fit everything I need in this bag. Cool thing about this bag, you can actually hang it. So if you stay in a hotel room or you stay at your relatives, all you gotta do is hang this bad boy right there somewhere and ta-da, you got your kit. See, this is just like Hagrid's jacket, mucho pockets, mucho bolsas. Gracias, Rafael. Now that we got everything in individual bags, it's time to pack them in my duffel bag. And since this duffel bag can also be worn as backpack, you wanna make sure that the heaviest 
goes on the bottom. This is where the strut goes, so this is my bottom right here. Put this nomadic bag in here. The second heaviest one. It's like playing Tetris. Just because it's underwear, it doesn't mean it's super light. So I put this in the middle. Easy access. And you still have a lot of room. I can throw one of these uh, cooling towels. Basically, you wet it, you wring it, and it keeps you cool. There you go. So you got two handles right here. One right here. So you can carry like this way. This way, it comes with a strap. Just make sure that you close this all the way. Snug them both. It's pretty easy. And for backpack, and ta-da! You got yourself a backpack. And there you have it. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching, Cheesy or Teasy, your Muggle professor that will teach you how to live your Muggle life. I'll see you in the next chapter.